Yo, what's up guys? I'm Insanin, and today I'm here to do a service to all you Blam fans out there by letting you know that Sutomo Nihei wrote four full pages of notes that expound upon the universe of Blam. They go into more depth about the characters in it, the events that take place, more to do with the history of how everything happened in the story, and they're right here. So, uh, just following the art book portion of the blam section uh here's the first two pages and the second two pages and as you can see it's just really tiny print japanese just fill them all and i used to not know what it is until i got involved with this blam slash sutoma nihei discord and they you know let me know that it's actually his notes on it and there are translations that exist and i'm going to leave a link in the description below of the most accurate and extensive translation I could find. So definitely go check it out. But briefly, I'm gonna go over everything that's in it. So yeah, let's get started. So Nihei splits the notes up into sections, and sometimes he states information as facts, while other times he states them as his thoughts or hypotheses, which means a lot of the story was supposed to be left up to the imagination and interpretation of the reader, including himself. However, sometimes I think he's really just trolling all of us by being ambiguous, and he actually does know all the answers. But anyway, so there's literally five sections having to do with Kiri. They discuss his mission, humanity, some details about his past, his memory loss, an explanation about his revival, and the interaction with the parallel battery storage cluster in Log 51, and also some details about how he's associated with the system. There's two sections about the net terminal genes, talking about their history and its purpose. There's three sections about the graviton beam emitter, discussing its power, how it works, and the users of this technology. There's a section on silicone life, talking about their past and how they came to be. There's a section on the bioelectric incorporation and its significance in the story. There's two sections on the megastructure, pertaining to how it's made, its purpose, and what's inside of it. There's two sections on the safeguard talking about their past and purpose. There's six sections on the overall world slash city that Blam takes place in with topics that include its endless growth, the electronic network that exists throughout, the scale of its shape and size, how it gets its power to include a Dyson fear discussion, details on its environment and how it's maintained, and also some more megastructure details. There's a section on the administration about their purpose and significance. There's a section on the builders. There's four different sections titled about personality, which go over topics such as the process of turning a human being into information, artificial intelligence with or without personality, how these things relate to the characters within the story, and a whole bunch of other cyberpunk and matrix type talk pertaining to cyborgs, which is super cool. There's a section on the net sphere, which goes over its past and purpose, uh, a section on the dry bodies, giving us more information about their race, a section about language matrices and how important they are for communication between cyber entities. There's two sections on SIBO's reincarnation during the Toa Heavy Industries battle, talking about what happened to SIBO and how it was possible. There's a section on Zuru and some details behind the cell packets that she saves. There's a section on forwarding, giving us some details on how it works and why Mensab uses it. Uh, there's a section on both the gravity reactors and the gravity reactor anomalies that take place, talking about the science behind gravitons, dark matter, how the reactors work, and theories behind how space-time was messed up because of them. There's a section titled Blam Explanation that kind of talks about the history of uh, Nihei's creation of the work, including his first short. Uh, the original Blam, it was like a chapter that en he ended up turning into, you know, the, the 10 volumes that is Blam now. And he also references Ghost in the Shell in it. There's a section on the artificial net terminal gene experiment that SIBO performed. Just more details about it and why the equipment had to be so huge when she did do it. There's three sections on the secrets of Toa Heavy Industries, which go into detail about how it got there, its purpose, its power and propulsion, the agreement it made with the outside world, 
and the story of its changing conditions and downfall. There's two sections on the prequel Noise, talking about the history of the Netsphere, how the war started, and just more details about all the events that took place during that volume. There's a section on Mensab and the Central AI, talking about their past and how Central AI was made, combining the other AI that were going insane inside, inside Toa Heavy Industries. There's a section titled SIBO's Scattering Across Space that talks about how Nihei decided to play with her world line. There's two sections on Mysteries of the Unofficial Stratum, giving us more details about the stratum as a whole and how it came to be. There's a section on the Level 9 Safeguard that discusses its power, significance, and Nihei's thoughts on what happened during that crazy event that transformed SIBO. And last but not least, there's a section on Conversion Towers discussing how they work and their significance in the world. I'm not gonna lie, it's sort of an information overload at first. Like it's only four pages in the art book, but if you were to like copy and paste uh, the translation into like a Word document, it's something like 30 pages of, te of just words. Um, so it's a lot and it's not all an easy read, but if you're into like if you're into the Blam universe and you want to find out every little detail you can about everything that happens, you definitely want to read it because it answers a lot of questions you might have. It also might lead to some more questions. Go check out the translation in the description below. It's definitely worth your time. Uh, it's it's just so cool. Like I cannot tell you how important this information is if you're like trying to figure out all the different things that took place in the story. Like it's super helpful. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and comment on if you knew this existed, maybe some interesting things you found after reading it or you plan on reading it. If you think it's as cool as I do, um, don't forget to subscribe and stay till all heavy tough. I'll see you next time. Peace.